today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at my personal home theater system. Now, before we get started, don't be thinking it's gonna be some two and a half million dollar full rig. This is more your average Joe's <laughs> theater system, but people have been asking for me to show you around, so here it goes. Uh, all the way from my TV down to my home theater system, stereo system, which I think is pretty good. It rocks this place pretty hard. My theater seats, with man, I'm super happy about these. I got rid of the couch, and I moved over to these recliners, and I'll tell you what, I don't regret it one bit. And in the back of the room back here, I got my editing suite back here where I do all the magic for the channel. Plus my wife's got her sewing machine and everything she does back here. These two desks are killer and uh, it's just a real good use of space here in Hawaii where things are expensive. But without any further delay, let's take a look around and let's see the stuff. So here's a look at my editing system starting with my office chair. If you know, then you know. <laughs> Apple Studio Display, Apple Wireless Keyboard and Trackpad, and you can see my Apple Studio in the back back there. That's a must when you're doing video work. Anybody that does YouTube, they spend nine tenths of their time right here at their editor. You can see my other two monitors. I use them for larger Photoshop type projects and my refillable printer. That's a must. And one of my favorite things about the location of my editing system, as well as these two desks back here, is that we can both see the TV right in front of us here. So we can watch YouTube and other things to entertain us while we're putting in a long work day. So now that we've seen the editing system and where all the magic happens, it's time to get into these theater seats. These things are awesome. So as soon as I sit down into them, I feel like it's kind of firm. It's also kind of bouncy. It's kind of stiff, but it's also kind of plush. It's that happy medium. I feel like the three bears <laughs> where they come in like, this one's too strong. This one's just right. That's what I find here in my spot. Um, it's got a good upright position in the normal. And I feel like it's looking right at the TV and it replaces any need for a couch. And that was important to me because I was getting rid of my couch. I wanted to put this line of theater seating in. And I didn't want to regret not having a couch and I don't. So the configuration I went with was a love seat in the middle. My wife sits here. We watch the TV. It's pretty much dead center in front of the screen there and it just offers a great viewing experience. On the ends we got the single recliners. That's great for the kids or guests and uh, seems to be working out really well. But that's not what these seats are for. They're not to replace the couch. They're for uh, laying back and enjoying a nice movie. So we extend the seat, leg extensions, and it just sweeps your feet right out from under you. That's great. Heading back into the full laid down position. Now I can tell you the bummer with this is I just want to go to sleep. It's comfortable. It has a lumbar support, which you can adjust. It kind of uh, conforms to your back. Also, here's one of the bummers with it though. This is not good for watching TV. I'd have to shove pillows under my neck or do something like that. And that's what we tend to do with a normal couch that these theater seats, we don't have this problem. Check this out. I just lift my head up, the headrest tilts, comes up into position, and now I'm looking straight at the TV. And the angle I have my TV is a few degrees, it matches the angle of my head, and it's a perfectly straight on viewing experience for me. That's awesome. Now, once you get a position that you're really happy with, there's a memory button. Hold it down till you get the beep. Now if I happen to get up and I wanna come back and I don't wanna try to find that sweet spot, I hit the memory button, it goes right back to where I was at before I got up. That's kind of cool. It also has a home button, so you can just get back up. It retracts the headrest, puts the uh, leg extensions away, and takes you right back up to that neutral position, which is great. That way you don't have to individually work all the buttons to try to get everything back to neutral. Another cool feature, lighting. Double click, all the lights come on. We can do this throughout all four of them. I'll do three here to, within arm's reach, but you get the idea. You can go different colors. There's blue, you know I like green, the Hulk, man. The green's right there. It does all through the spectrum. Light blue, purple, uh, red, flashing. I'm not sure who would want the flashing, by the way, but it's there. And uh, let's get back to that blue. That's neat. Now to turn them off, double click. We'll just shut all these right off. 
Now I do find with the LED lighting, it's kind of cool to set like a mood in the room, but when you're actually in the dark watching the TV, it does reflect onto the screen depending on your viewing angle. And I find that I don't really like them running while I'm watching TV, but overall it puts a good scene into the room and it matches the LEDs behind the TV. If you like that sort of thing, that could be cool. Another neat feature, this tray table. Now it has this post on it and it goes into this accessory port. You can get a wine glass holder, cell phone holder, they sell multiple things, but the only thing I was really interested in at this point was the tray table. It goes down in like that, it swivels around, it'll hold popcorn, food, your laptop. It's reasonably sturdy. Don't sit on this thing, it's not made for that. And what's kind of neat about it is when you're using it in front of you, that's great. You can pivot it out of the way, easily get up. When you sit back down, pivot it right back down around in front of you. Now let's take a look at the stereo stuff. Now don't expect some big $100,000 system. This is just my little kit for my house. But inside here, we got the Denon 7 channel amplifier with all pre outs on there, leading down to the NAD amplifier. And that thing rocks, man. It rocks big time. And I'm gonna talk about the speaker configuration here in a minute. In between, I got this neat little cooling system, two electronic fans, thermostat, blows all the heat out of the side, and the Xbox. You ever been killed by Sharky Waters on Fortnite? or had a goal shot in your face on Rocket League. That was me, buddy. <laughs> and I got my Wi-Fi, my Lutron smart hub that controls all my lighting, and my wireless transmitter for my subwoofer. The heart and soul of every home theater system is the television. Now, I have an 85-inch Samsung QLED Neo. This thing has some really bright, vibrant colors, and wow, that looks amazing. That's trippy the NASA floating around in outer space. I like that. And the TV surrounded by Martin Logan in-wall speakers. I got a right, a left, a center, and two rears. They're all exactly the same. Overall, they produce some really good sound. Now these have been up here for a while. They're due for an update, so you can expect that coming soon. But I didn't want super large box speakers in here. I know they perform better. I just don't have space for that here to have speakers everywhere. Uh, this is right in my living room, and these are tucked away and with the amplifier and these speakers it gives some really good rich uh, full sound there let's take a peek at the center channel those two little mids are, are really good quality good tweeter good full sound coming out of them and all in all they sound amazing behind the theater seats I got the dynamo 10 inch subwoofer it's it's self-powered and it also is wireless so I don't have to run wires anywhere which is kind of cool and uh, the rumbling from the bass just goes straight into the chairs and gives that extra little bit of feeling like you're in the moment and uh, that makes it pretty cool too Wow, that's definitely before the carnivore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for sticking around for my tour of my home theater system. I appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. What did you think of my setup? And let me know what kind of setup you have. I'm always interested. Send me any pictures that you want to jeremy at hawaiidetailing.com and I'll check out your system. And maybe on a future video, we can put some subscribers theater systems together. That'd be kind of cool for everybody to see those. My theater system, after bringing these theater seats into the house, it's elevated this to a whole nother level. And for that, yeah, that's some good stuff right there. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.